Most of us know Venus as that bright star in the sky, but this dazzling planet hides some truly astonishing secrets. Beneath its shimmering veil lies a world both fascinating and forbidding. Venus, our closest planetary neighbour, is a fiery enigma waiting to be unravelled. From molten landscapes to crushing atmospheres, it's a place of incredible extremes and unexpected phenomena. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this cosmic voyage. Get ready for a journey filled with molten landscapes, crushing atmospheres, and some seriously weird science. Buckle up! Think Mercury has the hottest temperatures just because it's closest to the Sun? Think again! Let's turn our gaze to Venus, our neighbouring planet that's truly hotter than an oven. It's not the proximity to the Sun that makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Instead, it's the thick, toxic atmosphere that traps heat, creating a runaway greenhouse effect. This deadly blanket of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds causes a phenomenon known as global warming. Yes. You heard it right. Venus is a classic example of global warming gone extreme. And how hot does it get, you might wonder? Well, Venus boasts a surface temperature that reaches a staggering 900 degrees Fahrenheit. To give you a comparison, that's well over the temperature at which lead melts. Now, imagine standing on a planet that hot. It's a scorching reality on Venus. Time for a head scratcher. Have you ever wondered about the length of a day on other planets? Well, on Venus, it's a peculiar affair. This planet, much like a slow waltzing dancer, takes an astonishing 243 Earth days to complete just one rotation on its axis. Yes, you heard that right. That's the equivalent of nearly eight months on Earth for a single Venusian day to pass. But here's where it gets even more perplexing. While Venus takes its time with its rotation, it's somewhat speedy in its orbit around the Sun. It completes its orbit in just 225 Earth days, less than the time it takes to spin once on its axis. So in a baffling twist of celestial mechanics, a day on Venus outlasts its year. This means a day on Venus is actually longer than its year. Can you wrap your head around that? Venus is a land of fire and very unusual volcanoes. When we think of volcanoes, we often picture the towering cones of Mount Fuji or Mount Vesuvius. But Venus isn't playing by the same rules. This scorching planet is home to a very unique kind of volcanic formation. Instead of reaching high into the sky, Venusian volcanoes are low, flat, and spread out. They're called pancake volcanoes due to their distinctive shape, and they are unlike anything we have on Earth. These volcanoes are believed to be the result of particularly thick, slow-moving lava that doesn't travel far before cooling and solidifying. This results in a wide, flat dome rather than a tall, pointed cone. So next time you're flipping pancakes in your kitchen, spare a thought for Venus, the celestial body with its very own pancake volcanoes. Venus is dotted with flat pancake volcanoes that ooze thick, slow-moving lava. Venus is a real rebel. Just when you thought you had this planet figured out, it throws us yet another curveball. Unlike most of our solar system's planets, which rotate in the same direction they orbit the Sun, Venus spins in the opposite direction. That's right, it's got a backward spin. Now, you might be wondering, how did that happen? Well, so are scientists. The leading theory is that long ago, a massive celestial body collided with Venus. The impact was so enormous, so cataclysmic, that it literally flipped Venus upside down. Imagine the force required for that. It's a testament to the chaotic and violent history of our solar system. So, the next time you look up at that bright star in the sky, remember, it's not just a pretty face. Venus is a planet of extremes, a rebel among the celestial order. Scientists think a massive collision in its past might have flipped it upside down. Think Earth's air pressure is intense? Venus takes it to the extreme. Imagine stepping off a spaceship onto its surface. As you descend, the pressure builds and builds until it's as if you're being crushed from all sides. You're not at the bottom of the ocean, but it sure feels like it. This isn't some deep sea dive though. This is the atmosphere of Venus, our neighbor in the solar system. The pressure here is an astounding 90 times greater than what we experience on Earth. That's the equivalent of being almost a mile underwater. And this crushing atmosphere isn't just heavy, it's also incredibly hot, thanks to a runaway greenhouse effect. It's a world far removed from the gentle breezes and light showers we're used to. So, next time you spot Venus shining in the night sky, remember, its beauty belies a truly extreme world.
Its atmosphere is 90 times denser than ours. That's like being almost a mile underwater. Forget fluffy snowflakes. On Venus, the idea of a winter wonderland takes on an entirely different meaning. The mountaintops of this scorching planet are graced not by icy crystals, but by metallic snow. Yes, you heard that right, metallic snow. Now you might be wondering how that's even possible. Well, it all comes down to Venus's extreme temperatures. These are so high that they can create metal compounds. When these compounds rise to the cooler mountain peaks, they condense and fall back down, creating a spectacle that could only be described as metallic snowfall. Imagine for a moment standing atop one of these mountains, watching as the shimmering snow cascades down. But remember, this isn't the soft, gentle snowfall we're used to on Earth. No, this is Venus, where even the snow is extreme. High temperatures create metal compounds that form shimmering snow on the peaks. Despite its ancient appearance, Venus has a surprisingly young surface. Now, when we say young, we're talking in geological terms. Much of the surface of Venus is relatively new, at least by planetary standards. You see, Venus is a hotbed of volcanic activity. It's not just a few isolated volcanoes. The entire planet is literally bursting at the seams. These volcanoes aren't erupting today or even yesterday. They're part of a cycle that's been going on for billions of years. But here's the catch. About 500 million years ago, something extraordinary happened. Venus underwent a global resurfacing event. In a geological blink of an eye, the entire surface of Venus was covered with fresh new lava. This massive volcanic activity wiped the slate clean, erasing the ancient craters and landforms. So next time you look up at Venus, remember you're seeing a planet that's been reborn. Scientists think massive volcanic eruptions around 500 million years ago repaved the entire planet. Forget a little drizzle, we're now diving into one of the most mind-boggling aspects of Venus's extreme weather. Picture this, it's raining, but the drops aren't water, they're sulfuric acid. Yes, you heard that right. Venus, with its dense, toxic atmosphere, experiences acid rain. Ever left a penny out in the rain and seen it turn green? That's the work of acid rain, albeit much milder than what Venus experiences. Sulfuric acid, the main component of Venusian rain, is a super-corrosive compound. It can eat away at most materials, causing extensive damage. Yet, despite its destructive potential, this acid rain never reaches the surface of Venus. Why, you may ask? It's due to the planet's extreme heat. The sulfuric acid evaporates mid-air, sparing the ground below from its corrosive touch. So Venus has rain made of super-corrosive sulfuric acid. Luckily, it evaporates before hitting the scorching ground. Don't be fooled by Venus's slow spin. Although this planet takes its sweet time completing a single rotation, the winds in its upper atmosphere are quite the opposite. They're like the speed demons of the solar system, moving at a pace that would put even the most ferocious earthly hurricanes to shame. Imagine gusts of wind that are so fast they could lap the entire planet in just a few days. That's right, while Venus's surface is crawling along at a snail's pace, its upper atmosphere is whipping around the planet like an Olympic sprinter on overdrive. And what makes these winds even more intriguing is their persistence. Unlike the fleeting gusts we're used to on Earth, these are perpetual winds, ever present and ever hurtling around the planet. So while Venus might seem placid from afar, don't let its serene appearance fool you. Beneath those thick clouds, it's a world of extremes. Its upper atmosphere whips around the planet at crazy speeds, creating hurricane force winds. Venus is similar to Earth in size and composition, but it's a harsh reminder of what could happen with unchecked climate change. Both planets started with similar conditions, but Venus took a deadly turn. A runaway greenhouse effect turned it into a scorching, uninhabitable wasteland. This grim fate serves as a stark warning for us here on Earth. As we grapple with our own climate challenges, the study of Venus provides valuable insights. Studying Venus helps us understand our own precious planet. So, is Venus a beautiful star in the sky or a terrifying example of a planet gone wrong? You decide. We've journeyed through molten landscapes, experienced crushing atmospheres, and dived into a world where metallic snow, sulfuric acid rain, and pancake volcanoes are the norm. We've discovered a planet where a day is longer than a year, where the atmosphere whips into hurricane force winds, and where, despite an ancient appearance, the surface is surprisingly young. 
Venus, Earth's nearest neighbor, and in many ways its evil twin, is a testament to the unpredictable and awe-inspiring nature of our universe. It's a stark reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked climate change and a fascinating subject of study in its own right. If you found these facts fascinating, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic content, and let me know in the comments which fact blew your mind the most. Until next time, keep exploring.